Hi there everyone, it's Midnight Mandy from the Squeaky Sneezes channel. I'm back with another Sims 3 Beginners Tutorial. This tutorial is about as beginner as you can get. This is really meant for someone who hasn't got the game yet, but is really looking into buying it. The most important thing to know before you purchase the game is, will your computer actually run the game? So we're going to talk about the minimum specs that your computer will need in order to run the game effectively. The absolute minimum Windows version that you'll need is Windows 7, but The Sims 3 site actually doesn't have any information on Windows 7. So I would venture to say that if you have Windows 7, it's probably not going to be worth installing the game. The next version up is Windows XP, and we're going to use that as our baseline for all of our information. First and foremost, you need to know what kind of a processor your computer has. In order to find out what kind of processor you have, you need to find your PC information. Uh, some versions you'll need to go into your control panel to find that. If you're like me and you have Windows 10, you can go down to your start and type in PC. And that'll bring up the This PC Desktop app. Once the window pops up, you'll click on System Properties. And it'll show us all about our PC. Right here you'll see our processor information and the minimum that you need for The Sims 3 is a 2.0 GHz processor. Luckily I have just above that, it's 2.5. The next most important requirement you'll need to run The Sims 3 has to do with your graphics card. We'll need to find out what kind you have. The minimum that The Sims 3 requires is a 128 megabytes graphics card. Now in order to find out what kind you have, come down to your start menu and press R. Let's bring up our run window. <laughs> I already have it typed down here. You want to type in DXDIAG and that will bring up a DirectX Diagnostics. So after you have this window open, you'll click on the display tab and all of your graphics card information will be displayed here. If you aren't quite sure if your graphics card is up to specs, just take this information and stick it into Google and it will tell you all you need to know about it. The next thing that you're going to need is the latest version of DirectX and you can actually get that direct from Microsoft. I'll drop the link to this page in the description for you. After you have DirectX installed, we'll need to make sure that you have the Windows XP Service Pack 2 installed. This is something that you can also get directly from Microsoft and I'll drop the link in the description for you so that you can go there easily too. Something else that you'll need to determine is if you have Pixel Shader 2.0 and that has to do with your graphics card as well. The website I have pulled up will help you to determine if you have the Pixel Shader 2.0 support on your graphics card and I'll drop that link into the description for you. Last but not least, you need to make sure you have enough space on your hard drive. Let's go back to our system properties. At the bare minimum, you'll need 7.1 gigabytes of free hardware space in order to run the game. Alright everyone, that's it for this tutorial. I hope I was able to clear some things up and answer some questions for anybody who's thinking about getting the game. If it turns out your computer is capable of running the game and you purchase it, come on back to my channel and check out some of the tutorials. Thanks for watching.